This isn't going to be a typical video from me on United People's TV, but there's something I absolutely have to get off my chest. And it's going to hurt, but Manchester United cannot ignore what's going on in front of us anymore. Liverpool and Spurs are both in the Champions League final after what were incredible team performances to turn 3-0 deficits into victories. Two of the greatest Champions League comebacks in 48 hours. Manchester City are on the verge of a domestic treble and becoming the first club since Manchester United a decade ago to retain the Premier League. Arsenal, in their first year since Wenger left, are on the verge of a Europa League final. Who could they play? Chelsea, who are also on the verge of a Europa League final. All the while, Manchester United are looking like a club in rehab, like a drug addict going through the five stages of recovery and we are so far away from that. Now, I appreciate that football is cyclical. That maybe in a few years' time, Spurs won't be where they are. But right now, Manchester United's cycle is just at the wrong end. I'll be the first to admit that I'm horrifically jealous of the fact that it's not my club with Mora scoring a hat-trick with a 96th minute winner to go through to the Champions League final. And not my club that's turning a 3-0 deficit against Barcelona around to a 4-3 win at home. Instead, Manchester United, as I said, look like a club in recovery. And there's five stages, and we've been through the first stage. That's the acknowledgement stage. That's understanding and being aware of your own problems. And Man United fans, we've been all too aware of our problems for some time, but it feels like the club is now also aware of our problems because you can't hide from it anymore. The successes of the other English teams in Europe and the successes of some English teams in the Premier League as well, is making that gap wider. You can't ignore it anymore. And Manchester United have certainly been through the acknowledgement stage. And we're currently going through the consideration stage. Now this is where you have a shift more towards action and you have a wider understanding of the impact of your own failures. And that is where United need to look at the other clubs. And this is where it's painful, because if you look at Liverpool, they got new owners in 2010, they got a manager in Jurgen Klopp that they believed in, and they backed him, backed him to the hill. They followed his direction, and the club is reaping the benefits from it. Jurgen Klopp is a fantastic manager. We all have to admit that. The way he inspires his team, the way he inspires his players... It's something that any football club would want. Because Liverpool had no right to turn that 3-0 deficit into a 4-3 win. They didn't even have their best players, but it was the sheer determination and will to get that, that they did it. And that was driven by Jurgen Klopp. Now, remember a few years ago, Liverpool finished below West Ham, way down behind United. And now they've got back-to-back -back Champions League finals. They've had their recovery. And now they're on the upward trajectory. And it's something that United need to do. And then you look at Tottenham Hotspur, a great manager in Mauricio Pochettino is inspiring a side who in comparison to its rivals is massively under-resourced. Lucas Moira was the last signing they made and that was back in January 2018. Yet they're in the Champions League fucking final without Harry Kane as well. An absolutely incredible turnaround from Spurs and they absolutely deserve it because of that performance. But you've seen it all season long. Pochettino has created, his, it's not a dynasty because they haven't won anything, but Spurs, I can't see him leaving Spurs for some time. He has made his bet. They've got a new stadium, a great manager and a fantastic striker, one of the best in the world in Harry Kane and a great squad. And it's all because the club has allowed Pochettino to do what he wanted to do to an extent. Obviously the resources aren't there, but it's made Spurs what they are. And then you've got Manchester City who are the superpower in Manchester. And again, they have given the foundations and the conditions for success at Manchester City. They brought in all the backroom staff from Barcelona. They dropped Pep Guardiola into it. They said, who do you need? They've gone out and signed them. And they've made Manchester City the superpower in Manchester now. It's blue. The noisy neighbours aren't just noisy anymore. They're a lot better than us. By some margin, the whole way the club is run off the pitch, the whole way the football team is run on the pitch and how it's managed. And the, three th the things that all three of those clubs have in common 
is a manager who is steering the club in the right direction and being backed by the club. They're not a loggerheads together, they're just being backed. And then you've got Arsenal and Chelsea. Arsenal, I don't think, should have had anywhere near a successful season this year. But if they somehow win the Europa League, it's a successful season, despite their pretty poor league form. And the same goes for Chelsea. So both of them are in the Europa League final. It could be an all-English Europa League final and an all-English Champions League final. That is sensational. And, you know, all credit to English football. But United are having absolutely no part of that. We would have had that moment in Paris. But that was the pinnacle of our season. But there's almost a top three in Man City, Spurs and Liverpool. And the three below it in Arsenal, Chelsea and United. Of three clubs who are in different stages. Because Spurs, City and Liverpool are streets ahead of us. And how their club is run. In how their football team looks in the manager that they've got, everything's stable there. But Chelsea and Arsenal and United, so many questions are being asked. And United have already entered stage three of recovery where we look at the exploration stage. And we started that because we got rid of Jose Mourinho earlier than many would have expected and we brought Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in. We're now looking at bringing a director of football in. We've gone through the acknowledgement stage. We've been, there's an acute awareness of an understanding of our own problems. And we're starting to see actions taken to hopefully give solutions to those problems. And Solskjaer, I still feel he's the right man. I'm absolutely backing him to help United refine their ways. He understands it more than most. And it's not just a case of taking the fucking players to the cliff and trying to reinstigate the Fergie way. That's, that's not what I mean. But he understands what's right and wrong for United. And he will make that dressing room what it needs to be. And I absolutely trust in Solskjaer to get that right. And we've also gone through some of the early recovery stage because if you imagine what happened when Solskjaer came in, those three months were absolutely incredible. But during that early recovery stage, a relapse is common. And my, 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 how United have relapsed since the club announced Solskjaer as United's permanent manager. I thought that was a mistake. I thought we should have waited till the end of the season. I said that and it's clear that was a problem and a bad decision. But Man United have had that relapse and it sets everything up for stage five, which is the active recovery. That's the most important stage. When you've got through everything, you're now at a point where you can start to look forward and upwards. And that's where Man United are gonna be next season. The active recovery and maintenance stage, improving ourselves, getting ourselves better, and getting back to where we want to be. And that's where United, and that's why I feel that these five stages really do apply to United at the moment. We've been through acknowledgement, we've seen the consideration, we have to be aware of all the teams around us and what they are doing in Europe. It's just sensational. There's nothing else you can say about it. We've been through the consideration stage, as I said, we've explored some of the problems, there's been some early recovery, there's been a relapse, and now United are heading to the summer where their active recovery has to truly begin. And that begins by culling this squad, cleansing that dressing room, bringing in that director of football, changing the structure. There's so much that has to happen. There are so many things that have to be spinning at the same time for United to truly recover. But I just don't think United can ignore what's gone on this week. It's not luck that Liverpool reached the Champions League final. It's not luck that Spurs reach a Champions League final. That was down to sheer grit, determination and desire to play for the manager and play for the club. Now, so many of these players at United do not have that desire and they will get shifted on this summer. And I'm confident that our squad will be better next year. But if United don't truly rebuild now, then we stare wilderness in the face because it's all well and good if your own club is, is doing poorly. But in the context of what's happening in the Premier League, with Spurs getting better, Liverpool getting better, and City getting better, that gap is going to keep increasing, increasing, and increasing the longer United dither. We can't dither anymore. It's our own fault, six years of it, that we're in this position. But now is the time where the club has to actively recover and aim towards getting back to where we were before. Because if we don't, 
We've taken the piss out of Liverpool for it, but we will become Liverpool of the 90s. A club that just talks about uh, that treble season in 99 or that double season in 2008. Uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to be a club talking about the past. And I don't fucking want that. I want those Lucas Moura hat tricks. I want those Divock Origi goals. But for United players in United shirts, doing it in the Champions League. We can't do that next year, we're in the Europa League, but that's part of the recovery process. We're not good enough for the Champions League at the moment. We all know that. But I wanna know what you think in the comments below about this video. I had to get it off my chest because I don't think you can ignore what's gone on this week with Spurs and Liverpool. It's a, you get one miracle, fine. Get two miracles back to back within 48 hours. Maybe it's not just a miracle. Maybe it's a pattern that United have to be aware of and use it as fuel to rebuild our club because we need to. So let me know what you think about the ongoings this week with Liverpool and Spurs, about United and the recovery. Really interested to hear what you've got to say on this. But United are a club in rehab. We've been through some of the recovery. Next year is the active main recovery. We've got a lot of work to do before we get anywhere back to our best as a football club.